Hey there. So today we're going to take a look at three um, what I'm going to call recycled kind of pencils or eco to the extreme kind of pencils. First, you might notice that I'm recording at a slightly different angle because it turns out having a master's degree in physics doesn't make you smart and spatially aware. I realized that if I tilted the camera in the little holder um, that I could only have, I think there's just a little itty bitty bit right there in the shot um, of the holder and it gives me a lot more space to work with. It allows me to kind of do like head on shots a little bit better than when I had it facing straight down and only had, you know, like six inches of real estate to work with. So yay. Anyway, let's talk about these three pencils. So these three pencils are, we have a recycled denim pencil, which is kind of a, it looks really cool. I, mean, I don't know if it'll focus on it maybe. Mm, mm, come on, you know you want to. Maybe it won't. Maybe we're just not having a good day with focusing. Maybe? I don't know. Some days it'll focus, some days it won't. There we go. It's, it's actually really cool. It kind of actually looks like denim. It's kind of, or like felt maybe. It's kind of a, um, like a mottled kind of gray look. I actually really like the look of this pencil. The next one is the recycled money pencil, which again is that kind of not quite, well, this one's much more solid, but it's kind of a greenish sort of color that I, wait, did I say recycled money? Yes, I think I did. Recycled money pencil. And it is kind of the same green that you see printed on money. So there's that one. And then the last one is the, oh, there go my pencils. That's the problem with round pencils as they roll away. Last one is the, sh stupid truck. Last one is the Staedtler Wopex. Um, this one is made from extruded like wood flower paste kind of stuff. It's basically a way to use up um, waste wood. So it's kind of weird because it's kind of almost the right color to be wood, but it has like no grain or anything to it. And it, they have this weird sort of rubbery, grippy sort of finish on them. They're really something else. Like if you haven't tried Wopex, I definitely suggest trying them because they're very strange and they come in a bunch of fun colors um, as well. Like you can get neon ones and stuff like that. So, all right, so there's the three pencils we're looking at today. Another truck. Um, I was hoping that recording on a Sunday morning would be beneficial because there should be less traffic, but apparently not. Anyway, so looking at these three pencils, um, I figured I would kind of do them as a set because one, they have a lot of similar characteristics and two, I hate them all. So it just gets them all out of the way at once. Um, so similarities, they're all heavy. Like all of these pencils are very heavy compared to an actual wood pencil. And anyone who's ever like picked up a Wopex will kind of realize that like it's, it's a strangely heavy pencil. Um, I think because there's a lot of like other stuff in there that they have to put to kind of hold everything together. Also, these pencils are sort of bendy and I don't know if I can bend it without breaking it, but they, they do kind of bend a little bit. And I, I don't know if the Wopex do that quite, a, the Wopex aren't quite as bendy, but the recycled money and recycled wood pencils are definitely bendy and it's kind of disconcerting a little bit. Um, like, I feel like if I would wave it around fast, it would just wobble all over the place. Um, so they're all kind of heavy. Um, these two are kind of bendy, this one less so. They all have these really nice ferrules on them. Like, they're, they're well done ferrules. Mm, come on. You know you want to focus. There we go. They're nice ferrules. I really especially like this one on the money pencil. It is not showing up quite true to color on camera here. But in real life, it's a little bit more of like a, a very light copper color almost, or like a rose gold kind of color, which looks really good with the green eraser and the green body. Um, I really like the colored erasers on the denim and the money pencil. I think they just really look good. The white eraser on the Wolpex isn't bad, but the problem with white erasers is they tend to get dirty really fast. So there's that. Um, so that's kind of the characteristics. Um, they... I mentioned that the Wopex has this strangely grippy sort of finish. The finish on these other two is very smooth. It's it's not slick, but it's smooth. It's kind of like a like a satin finish, I guess maybe. Um, the Wopex is a is a soft hex kind of pencil. It's it's not a super sharp hex, but it is a hex. And then these other two are round, so they will roll away, like you saw. 
Um, so that's kind of that. And then let's get to the part that they're all HB pencils and they all are tough. Um, so one of the reasons that people like the Wopex is because they are very smear resistant because with the extruded lead that's in these, um, it's sort of like a clay lead mix. So it tends to be more smear. Come on, come on, buddy. You got this whatever. So it tends to be more smear resistant, which I guess I can show really quick here. I didn't bother to write up a review because I disliked the pencils that much that I just didn't even want to waste time on them. So there I wrote the word smear and this is how I do it in my review. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can see that it is pretty much not smeared at all. Oh, seriously. There we go. It's it, it, there. Basically, it did nothing. So the nice thing about the Wopex is that they don't smear. And these other pencils are very similar in that they tend to be very low smearing. The problem, too, is that because they are HB and they don't smear, they also write really faintly, like far more faintly than I would prefer. But for me, what really kills it is that they are pretty much impossible to sharpen. And that's because the material that they're made with is so dense. So let's see, this guy was sharpened with a wedge sharpener. And part of it, I think, was that on this guy, I don't think the core was very well centered because it kind of is just all over the place. And so it looks decent, I guess, um, but it's very difficult to sharpen. Like you think you're doing okay if you're sharpening it from being a brand new pencil. And then it just gets harder and harder and harder and it, breaks off all the time and I broke the lead multiple times and it's just in general it, it just was not a pleasant experience at all so then I decided that this guy which I had also sharpened with the wet sharpener I would try knife sharpening it to see if that helped any and it didn't you can see I broke the tip off the lead um, and it's just it's the material is so dense that you really need I think a super sharp super thin blade to like make an easy time of sharpening it and it just it, it was just a horrible experience similar with the wopex i tried knife sharpening it and i actually did okay on this one this material isn't quite as hard and dense but it really takes a determined hand and i think you're far more easy you can kind of see it on this side right here you, you are far more likely to kind of dig into it and take a huge gouge out of it um but on the other hand, because the point retention is good with the harder lead in there, it means that you don't have to sharpen as much. So I guess it's not as big of a problem. But for me, these were just not enjoyable pencils. And like the Wolpex, I like because they come in fun colors. So I could see myself using the Wolpex just for the fun factor of it. And maybe to have in like a bullet pencil or to put a point protector on it and just keep it in a bag as a just in case kind of thing. These two, Granted, I didn't expect a lot because I think they were like 30 cents a piece. So they aren't expensive pencils and I feel like I kind of got what I paid for. They they felt cheap, they write cheap. Um, the lead isn't awful in them, but I just couldn't really get them sharpened to a point where I enjoyed writing with them. And because they're so heavy, the fact that like when they're fresh and long, it's it's a strange balance. So overall, I don't love any of these pencils. I would not buy these two again. Um, the Wopex, I have a ton of them because someone, I, I think I mentioned that I got a kind of a pencil starter pack from, from a friend and he sent me a whole bunch of them in like every color. So those I will probably use. I, I have like one neon yellow one that I'm super excited about because it's offensively neon yellow. Um, but yeah, these two were just, just not so good. And that's why I didn't even do a written review because I just did not want to spend time on pencils that are not at all enjoyable to use. So, yeah, hope that maybe helped. Uh, I'll link down below. I got these pencils from uh, CW Pencils. I don't recommend them necessarily, but I will link to her shop because I, I do recommend her shop. Um, and then this Wopex came in that care pack. So I will link to where you can get Wopexes, Wopexin. Um, you can get them at Staples, I think, if you have a Staples locally. Otherwise, I will link to somewhere that you can buy them online. So yeah, that's all I got for today, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!